Morning. Up onto Kinder today via Blackdon Brook. It's about a mile and a half straight up, um, roughly 1100 foot worth of ascent. Um, so it's a, a pretty decent climb. And just from recently, like when I've climbed Shuttling Slow and Alderman's Hill and stood at the bottom of them, they, they look quite intimidating and they look quite epic, but in terms of Peak District climbs, nothing compares to like looking up at Kinder and thinking, wow, this is big. So yeah, so this is one of the uh, the bigger ascents that you can do, or, or, or maybe the biggest ascent that you can do at Peak District. And here we are, bottom of Blackdon Brook. And how magic does this look? Spectacular. Long way to go yet though, let's not start getting too happy. This weren't in contract when I signed up. River crossings. Uh, I think we'll be all right anyway, I think this this looks like best route across, so I'll talk to you when I'm on the other side, presuming I make it. Actually relatively easy if I'm honest with you. This is just the most picturesque place. So after crossing that last bit of river, I'm just parked down for a little sit. Um, I'm around halfway uh, along like Dunbrook now, but nowhere near done any elevation. It's been, I mean, it's been all uphill, but gentle. I've still got a, a, a lot of climbing to do. Um, I'd say at least two thirds of elevation are still to come, if not more, you know, more like three quarters, but. Only a small one, but what a beautiful waterfall. We're a bit further up now, and it's got quite boggy, as you can see. <laughs> We're mudded up. Didn't really expect that, if I'm honest with you, everything's been quite dry and quite solid and then you see a, a few of the like reedy type plants and you think oh, it might be a bit dodgy here and you carry on and it's fine and then all of a sudden whoosh, straight in, sound. Well it seems that the Gore-Tex has worked anyway because my foot feels dry. When I get a bit further up I'm going to have a proper rest, I just parked up on this rock for a moment to uh, let you know about the uh, the change in terrain so to speak the path has just now become absolutely ridiculous it's well I'll spin camera and show you it's just literally open up over massive rocks and just carry on up however we have been rewarded with this the Black Dunbrook waterfall Fabulous. That's my next step up that I've got to take. At least it does flatten out a bit, but it still looks ridiculous. <laughs> this is just absolute lunacy. I am literally on the narrowest of edge paths. And that's straight down. And we've only got to here, and it's took me about 10 minutes, so I know I'm going to carry on, but this is a uh, this is certainly quite difficult. I think you might just be able to see it on camera, but we're right, right above Blackdon Brook waterfall now. Just down there. We've made it off that edge path. Saying it gets a lot easier this way, but it's certainly just in this next 15 foot or whatever, I can see it certainly looks to have got a bit more reasonable. Tell you something, we're still 
still looks a hell of a long way to go. Another nice little waterfall there. I'm gonna struggle to beat this for a quick snack spot. Marvellous. I'm just looking up where how much further I've got to go. Probably about 100 more meter, 150 meter, something like that. So there's just no existence of a path anymore. Just try and get up dry rocks where you can, wet ones where you can't. Not a lot further really to go. But I don't think it's going to be particularly easy. Come on, let's crack on. So I think that there is probably the last opportunity I've got to collect any water. I'm going to get some water now. Finish this climb, it's about 70 meter left, maybe maybe 50. Not really sure. This this last 100 meters has been hard though, it's been, been very very uh, steep and as I say I'm not afraid to say that it's about my sixth break that I've took because it has been it has been difficult I, there's no way I'm as fit as I've although definitely not I'm not saying I'd have ran up here but you know six months ago I were in much much fitter so I kind of want to get back to that so we'll keep working you anyway, know let's get me filter out climbing up bits like this is just lunacy this one in contract. Oh, we're so nearly there. That top rock is more or less the top. Oh, we've made it to the plateau. Oh, back up on Kinder. Yes, mate. I'm going to have a rest. Catch my breath and then we're going to head over to Crookston Knoll. Oh. Along Kinder's northern edge path, we hit this rock formation, and uh, if if it has a name, I certainly don't know it, but it's quite nice and grand. And if we just spin round here, we look back down on Blackdon Brook, the climb that I've just made, which goes across there. I have brought the drone. But I don't know if to fly it or not. It is a, it is a bit windier when you get a, a, a little bit higher up. So I'm not sure. I, do. I don't think I will. If I'm honest with you. I know it's a bit of a shame. I, I do like, I do enjoy flying it, and I do enjoy the, the footage that it gives and the photos. But I don't think today's the day. If I'm honest with you. So we've come off the edge path now, and. We're just walking along these, this channel. Let me just bob up here actually and show you. That was difficult. I don't know if you can just see there, up on the horizon. That's Edelmore Trig. And uh, should be, we're quite close now, so it should be quite easy to get to this way. So I'll talk to you soon because obviously I'm on my hands and knees most of the time here, so that's a great place to start this path in it cheers. Nice one. Slogging it through all that rough terrain and all boggy terrain. And about three yards from trick point. It starts. Here we are. Edale more. Trig pillar. If we look over that way, that prominent lump that we can see there is Grinslow Knoll, and then them rocks in distance. That way, that's uh, like the Kinderlow area and stuff like that. There's Mamtor just sticking out. Mad Woman Stones over that way. What a brilliant skyline, and then that's over to Bleaklow and heading over. If we go right far in distance, I can see with naked eye over to Old Moss Transmitting Tower, which is where Black Hill is. What a cracking place. 
Here we are, just coming up on Mad Woman's Stones. Once again, the emergence of a little bit of a path. So there's a bit of a tail that goes with Mad Woman's Stones, as there are most things in Peak District. But apparently, no one knows why it's called Mad Woman's Stones. So there's not a great deal to tell. Let's have a quick look around it. Certainly not the most impressive rocky outcrop of the Peak District, but it's got a nice name, it's nice and quiet, and it's in a cracking location. So I'm happy. So that's it, we're leaving the Kinder Plateau now, and this runner, this runner grouse butts just here, we follow that down and then down into the valley. Uh, we're going to hit the Ashton shooting cabin and then join, rejoin the Snake and down there. If you can see that, so nice and easy, not easy home straight from here. There's Cruxton Knoll. It's just on from from where we are. Um, I was going to go up to it, but I've decided not to. I want to get down uh, down here and we've hit this first grounds, but this seems like a reasonable spot to get in. And have a little drink. Tidy. Sound. Got down the run of grouse butts now. This white marker indicates we passed the last one. I don't know if you saw that actually there. There we go. That white marker. And then uh, we follow. This is nice and easy to get down. So I'll just spin camera around now we get here and I'll show you. And there we are. Just coming down on to Ashup shooting cabin. And uh, it's a little difficult, the path's not brilliant here, but once we get to it and past it, we've got a, a wonderful easy track all the way back to Snake, and then obviously when you're walking on Snake it's just a road, your biggest danger there is getting run over, not snakes, so that'll be nice and easy for us won't it? Jubilee, 1935, seems relevant. It's all locked up, so we'll be on its way down. Hello, mm. beautiful. Blackley Farm, Blackley Haven. So I'm nearly done on that farmland now. This is that end of that trail that gets me back onto the Snake Pass. I'm not going to record while I'm walking on Snake. I don't want to get run over. You know, it's always a it's always a risk when you're looking at camera. So I'm going to get going to end video here thanks for watching nice uh, northern kinder circular epic climb up Blackdon Brook really was so thanks for watching see you on a, another video leaders